Okay. So we need to write the equation of a line that is parallel to y equals 3x minus 5 and goes through the point negative 4, 2. All right, so I'm about to give a prize to somebody. I need somebody to be really astute right now. Okay, so tell me about the slope of parallel lines. Look at my arms. First of all, somebody just tell me, what are parallel lines? This is not for a prize. Just somebody tell me. <laughs> We're all doing a dance. Okay, all right, so parallel lines, they have the same um, direction, right, that they're headed. Uh, they're an equal distance apart, kind of like railroad tracks. They never cross, okay? So it's not like one. they're slowly after a distance going to cross. Here's a question. Why do railroad tracks, when you look at them in the distance, look like they're slowly coming together? Yeah? That's because of your perception. Right. It's all perception. It's not actually what's happening. It's just things are getting further away. Um, so my question is, what are the slopes like of parallel lines? This is what I'm giving a prize for. So think about it. What are the slopes... Like, how are they related for parallel lines? One, two, three, four, five. Two. The slope is the same. Right, the slopes are the same. So look at my arms. Imagine that if I was looking at the slope of this, I'd go like, okay, up two over five. And if I have the exact same direction, it would also be up to over 5, right? It's just kind of shifted over, but they are still the same uh, slope or grade, right? So parallel lines have the same slope. I'm going to write that right here. Parallel lines have the same slope. So our first step is figuring out what our new slope is going to be. It's parallel to y equals 3x minus 5. So what's the slope of the new parallel line? This is the old one. What's the slope of the new one, Dylan? It's the same thing, but it's not going to have the same y-intercept, right? Because they're going to cross at different spots. So the first thing is... Um, find the slope... by looking at the original line and copying the slope. Because it's exactly the same if they are parallel lines. So for number one, I'm just going to write m equals 3. I know the slope is 3. Oh, Dylan, you can get a prize, by the way. Um, okay, now what do I do? Now that I have a slope, how do I find out what the y-intercept would be? Just to make sure we understand this, so you don't have to write this down, I'm just going to do this on a post-it really quick. Everybody look up. Okay, so here's like, imagine we got like, here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis, okay? Imagine I've got a line that looks like this. And if I draw a parallel line to it, that's pretty parallel, right? Do you guys see how like the slopes look about the same? Right? Do they have the same y-intercept? No. no. Okay, so the b's aren't going to be the same. If you write the m and the b as the same, it's just the same line. So the m's are the same, but the b's are different, so we've got to find out what the b is now. How do we do that? Hopefully you guys are good at this at this point. If you have a slope and you have a point, how do you find out what b is? Renee? You have to put the point in for y. Yep, so y equals, I've got 3x plus b, and then you're saying that I should put in x as negative 4 and y as 2. So plug the point in, the xy point, for x and y to find b. So which one's the y, guys? Two, yep. And this would be three times negative four plus b. I've had people ask me before, they've said, how do you know, look up, how do you know whether to put that negative four over one or just leave it as negative four? What do you guys think? Should we leave it as negative four right now or put it over one? Sawyer. Leave it because there's no fraction. 
Right. If the 3 had been a fraction, then it would have been helpful to have the other one as a fraction. But there's no reason to do it for this one. So this is 2 equals negative 12 plus b. How do I get b by itself? Renee? Um, plus 12. Add 12. Add 12. That's 14 equals b. Okay, so now I've got my m. And I've got my b. So what's step... I guess this was, I made it step two and three, didn't I? All right, I'll make step three, find B. All right, step four. What's the final step? Come on, guys, somebody new. You know how to do this. Emily. Rewrite the equation. with numbers for x or for m and b so my final answer is y equals uh, 3x plus 14 All right, example two. This one you're going to try with your partner for a prize. Hmm. Well, all right, I'll find it in a moment. All right, so example two is going to be um, write an equation for the line. That is parallel to um, y equals 3 fourths x plus 2 and goes through the point eight two. All right, I'm going to clean that up a bit with white out in a moment, but for right now, you can go ahead and start with your partner. Write an equation for a line that's parallel to this and goes through there. Talk to each other. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.